Hello and welcome back to Steam It with Steve. Today we're going to finish off the algebra homework and in this lesson we're going to look at the negative substitute one. So the questions that you could see, they're going to be these ones on Dr. Frost. And let's jump on in and get going. So here we go. So this is Dr. Frost homework. And this is the seventh one that we've done. And we're going to call this the negative substitute. Give that a little highlight, like so. Good to go. Right, question one. I'm going to sub in a three, take away four, which equals negative one. Question two, I'm going to sub in a four, plus a four, which then equals eight. Question three, three plus four, which equals seven. Question four, five lots of seven, which equals 35. Question five, three divided by one equals three. Question six, nine divided by three, take away two, which equals three, take away two, which equals one. Question seven, 10 all squared plus four, which equals 100 plus four, equals 104. Question eight, um, is four squared, which equals 16. Question nine, 35 divided by seven, minus nine, so equals five minus nine, which equals negative four. Question 10. Uh, we got nine squared minus five, equals 81 minus five, which equals 76. Question 11. We've got nine divided by three, minus 13, so it equals 3 minus 13, which equals negative 10. Question 12, we're subbing in 15 into z, dividing it by 5, then adding 5, so that's 3 plus 5, which then equals 8. 13, complete the following table, so we've got to add in 1, two and three. So y equals four lots of one minus three. Four take three equals one. Then we'll go y is equal to four lots of two minus three. So that equals eight take away three, which then equals five. Then y equals four lots of three minus three equals 12 take away 3, which equals 9. So you can see that this is just going up by 4 each time. Question 14. Height of a certain species is h, estimated using its weight. So the height is equal to 5 times the weight minus 22. Use the formula to work out the weight of a monkey with a weight of w and the height of 78. Cool, so we're going to sub in the h is equal to 78. It's equal to 5w minus 22. So we add 22 to both sides. Now we get 5w equals 100. Then we divide both sides by 5. And we get the weight is 20. Radio next bit. Fifteen. So this is the um, displacement formula. So S equals U T plus a half A T squared. So S equals five times the time, which is four plus a half 
negative 2 is 4 squared, so equals 20. Um, 4 squared is 16, it's a negative 16, so equals 4. Okay, Gustav is making scones for his birthday party. Recipe for 12 scones. Bake at 428 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Recipe in the temperature of the oven degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature gauge on Gustav's oven shows Celsius. Use the rule. So 5 times the Fahrenheit minus 160 divided by 9. At what temperature should Gustav bake the scones? So he's got, he's got to change that into Celsius. Okay. Here we go. So we've got 16. There's a whole heap of extra information there. Um, so we've got the Fahrenheit equals 428. And the rule for Celsius equals 420. Uh, so it's 5 times F minus 160 divided by 9. So now we sub it in, so 5 lots of 428 minus 160, all divided by 9. And grab a calculator. So 5 times 428 minus 160 divided by 9, 220. So therefore it's 220 degrees. Celsius. 17. How many of these solutions have the equation um, equal to 12? It's x minus 2 equals 10. x equals 12. So that's 1. Um, x on 2 equals 24 times this side by 2, times this side by 2, so x equals 48, so that's not 1. 10 minus x equals 2, so take 10, take 10, so negative x equals negative 8 plus, so that's not 1, and then 2x minus 1 equals 25, so plus 1, plus 1, so 2x equals 26, divided by 2, x equals 13, not 1, so that's the only one. 18, so k stands for a whole number, k plus 7 is greater than um, 100. So here we go, so k plus 7 is greater than 100. And then k minus 7 is less than 90. Write out all the numbers that it could be, the k could be. Um, so let's take away 7 from both sides. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So our new equation 3. K has to be greater than 93. Number 4, we plus 7 on both sides. So K has to be less than 97. Um, so it doesn't include... K has to be greater than 93 and K has to be less than 97. So then that would be 94, 95, 96. Seven. Cool. Done. So hopefully that's given you some insight into this. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help with our YouTube algorithm. And yeah, see you next time on Steam It With Steve. Adios.